Hi everyone. Today's class is called Optimal Flexion. Optimal Flexion at the Hip. So hip flexion, the main muscle for that movement is the iliopsoas. And the iliopsoas is made up of two muscles, the psoas major and the iliacus. The psoas major is connected to the front of your spine, the vertebrae, the spinous processes, from T12 to L4. And it's also connected to the transverse processes from L1 to L5. The iliacus is inside the ilium, so inside the frontal hip, and they both merge together and connect into the upper inner femur on the lesser trochanter. And this muscle, this combined muscle, is the main muscle for walking and hip flexion. So not only does it flex the thigh at the hip, so hip flexion, it flexes the trunk at the hip, it externally rotates the thigh at the hip, and then the psoas major itself laterally flexes the torso. Okay, so there's a lot of movement that this uh, muscle is responsible for. And so today, we're going to flex to our heart's content. Now, a lot of times, there's a lot of, okay, stretch your psoas, stretch your psoas, sink into the stretch. And if you're in a posture where you're anteriorly tilted, the, the guts are spilling, there's no core and glute integration, that iliopsoas muscle is actually too lengthened and, and too much of a lengthened state and needs to be strengthened. So here, if I'm in this posture, I can't, you know, there's just, there's just no room for hip flexion here. And if I continue to go and stretch, 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 stretch more into it, sinking into the tissues all around the pelvis, it further keeps this posture in effect, therefore not able to have optimal flexion. So we want to integrate core and glutes, finding that neutral spine, neutral pelvis, bringing the psoas muscle, the iliopsoas, into more of a biomechanically sound state to be able to start strengthening and having optimal flexion. If you're in more of a posterior tilt, that iliopsoas muscle is too contracted. So there we need to look at extending the hip more and bringing a little bit more stretch to create more of an optimal posture in that neutral spine and neutral pelvis state here. But in here as well, it's over contracted, but it's still weak and I'm not able to, to flex. So, optimal posture, neutral spine, neutral pelvis, is where we're going to create optimal flexion and optimal extension. Now, when we lose our flexion, when this goes away, extension from the hip goes away, and then this is what happens. We do the shuffle. So we want to be able to move and walk effectively, efficiently, and sustainably for the rest of our lives. So operation, flexion, optimal flexion, here we go. So let's start on our backs. Bending the knees, feet hip width apart, arms at a bit of a low diagonal, palms up. Feel the back of your skull on the mat. Pressing the shoulder blades down without the ribs popping, so keep the ribs contained. You know I love that sound, huh, and that really draws the ribs together and down. 
Now, if the chin is still lifted, you might want to pick up your head, tuck your chin, and lower it down. Or you may need to put a towel or a blanket underneath your head. Lengthen your tailbone towards your heels and really siphon that belly button down. So we want the two frontal pelvic points and our pubic bone and our belly button, we want all of this to stay in the same plane. So as not to anteriorly tilt and that pubic bone moves down and not to overly posterior tilt where that tailbone uh, lengthens up more. So finding that optimal posture here, back of the skull, shoulder blades, sacrum. From here, let's begin marches. So picking up the left foot, the left knee over the left hip and lower it down and then alternate left and right. You can bring your hands to your frontal hip points here to make sure that that pelvis stays steady and you're just moving within the hip. You're not moving the pelvis at all. Good, keep marching. The next time the left leg is up, hold it up. Take your left hand on top of your left thigh. Keep all of this container of the core consolidated. Now press your hand and your thigh into each other. Pressing that right foot down. When you do this, you'll find that that right glute will really turn on. There's a fascial connection between the left iliopsoas here and that right glute. Lower the left foot down, lift the right knee up over the right hip, press your right thigh and right hand into each other, and that will automatically turn on the left glute. Keep pressing the left foot down, keep the belly cinching and the ribs contained, then lower that foot down. Press through the feet, keep your hands on your thighs, push the thighs away to straighten your arms, and then lift up your hips. So as you press down into the feet, imagine them dialing out. They're not physically going to move, it's an energetic action. So there, there's going to be like this resistance on the outside so they don't physically move, and that will Centrate the head of the femur into the hip socket and you'll feel the outer hips turn on. Don't let the thighs open. So keep them nice and narrow and neutral here. You can keep your hands here on your frontal hip points, on your thighs or on the ground. Pressing into the big toe mounts, let's begin lifting and lowering the heels. Mindful not to roll out on the pinky side Glutes are activated, so you might want to have to tap your glutes to make sure that they're awake and working. This is warming up the plantar fascia, the bottom of your feet, into the Achilles tendon, the calves, hamstrings, glutes, all the while maintaining a neutral pelvis and your torso nice and steady, ribs in, Belly cinch. This time lower the heels, keep the hips lifted. And now we're going to march here. So picking up that left foot, left knee over and lower it down. Now you can bring your hands here as well on your frontal hip points to keep that pelvis nice and level as you pick up one foot and then the other. Nice and steady. The next time the left knee is up, hold it up. Take your left hand on top of your left thigh and press your hand and thigh into each other and feel that right glute activate even more. Keep pressing into that right foot. Keep your ribs contained. Then lower the left foot down, pick up the right knee over the right hip, right hand to the right thigh, press your hand and thigh into each other. Notice the activation more in that left glute. 
Keep all of the core contained. Then lower the right foot. And sequentially, thinking from the front of the body, lower down sequentially. Upper back, middle back, lower back. Bring your hands behind your head. Interlace the fingers. Bring your elbows up towards the ceiling. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, lift the shoulder blades off of the mat. Keep the shoulder blades lifted, but just soften the head into the hands so you're not pulling your neck. And look down towards your belly and siphon the belly down. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, lift up. Shoulder blades up. Lift the left knee over the left hip. Inhale, foot down, lower down. Exhale, lift up. Lift the right knee over the right hip. Draw the front ribs down. Inhale, foot down, lower down. Adding on. Exhale, lift up. Bend the left knee over the left hip. Stay here or extend the right leg at about a 70 degree angle. Inhale, bend the right knee, foot down, left foot down, lower down. Exhale, lift up. Right knee over the right hip. Option to extend the left leg straight. Inhale, bend the left knee, right foot down, lower down. Exhale, lift up. Left knee over the left hip. Extend the right leg. From the center, a little inch twist to the left. The left shoulder blade stays off of the ground. Then inhale, back to center. Bend the right knee, foot down, left foot down, lower. Exhale, lift up. Right knee over the right hip. Left leg, 70 degree angle. Now from your center, a little inch to the right. Inhale, come back to center, bend the knee, lower the foot, lower down. Exhale, lift up. Left knee over the left hip. Extend the right leg straight. Now this time, a little inch twist to the right. Keep the shoulder blades off of the ground. Inhale, back to center, bend the right knee, foot down, left foot down, lower down. Exhale, lift up. Right knee to the, over your hip. Left leg extends. An inch twist to the left. Inhale, back to center. Bend the left knee, foot down, right foot down, lower down. Woo! Coming up to quadruped. Hands and knees. Making sure that the knees are right underneath the hips. The wrists are right underneath your shoulder blades. Wrist creases are parallel to the front of the mat. Now look down, mindful not to sink the neck, lift the chin, or tuck the chin. Keep that neutral neck in line with the spine, the rest of the spine. Draw the belly in. The shoulder blades are nice, nicely placed on the ribs here, so I'm not over rounding. From your left glute, slide your left leg back. Lift the left thigh up. Stay here or reach the right arm forward, thumb up into bird dog. Deep breath in. Exhale, bring your left elbow to the right knee without rounding your back. Keep pushing that left hand into the mat. Inhale. Lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, extend. Keep that left glute on. And exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, lower the left foot to the back. Right hand comes down so the left leg is straight. Now take your right leg back into plank. Squeeze your bottom. Draw the belly in. Dial the hands apart as if you're, like we did with our feet. Keep the front of the throat lifting and pull the hands back isometrically. Then lower the left knee under the left hip. Keep the right leg straight behind you. Lift the right leg up. Option to reach the left arm forward, thumb up. Now you can keep the left hand on the ground if you need to and just bring the knee to the belly. Here we go, inhale here. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, 
strengthen, maintaining that neutral spine. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, lower the hand, lower the leg. Right leg stays straight. Step the left foot back into plank. Now notice if you're puffing up here. We want to have the scapula right on the ribs. Ribs and belly in, glutes turned on. Take a deep breath in. Then exhale, bring the left knee underneath the left hip, right knee underneath the right hip here. Another deep breath in. Then exhale, push the mat away, puff up between the shoulder blades, lift the knees, lift into downward dog, so have weight in the hands. Now equalize the weight between your hands and feet. I'm not extending my legs back. I'm not locking my thighs back. I'm not sending my chest down and back. Find the triangle here. The apex of the pose is your hips. Press through the arms, lift under the armpits, lift the front ribs in and have buoyancy in the knees and the head relaxes between the arms. Extend your left leg up behind you and bend the left knee. Hip circle, so you're gonna bring the left knee to the belly, out to the side, back and around. Bring it in, out, and around. Keep lifting under that right side, it'll wanna sink. In, out, and around. Good, go the other direction, so it'll go up, out, around, forward. Beautiful, one more hip circle here and then lower that left foot down. Extend the right leg up behind you. Keep that right glute turned on. The, the leg is hip height. Pelvis is neutral. Bend the right knee and bring the right knee in, out, and around. In, out, and around. Keep that belly drawing in like crazy. Keep lift under the armpits. Fingertips pressing, inner edges of your hands pressing. Take it back the other way. Make sure that you're not sinking into the left side of your body. Good, and then put the foot down. Come down to your knees. Bring your forearms down. Now your forearms need to be parallel. The elbows underneath your shoulders for dolphin. You can also clasp your hands here. Let the head hang, push the mat away with your forearms, broaden through the shoulder blades. Now you can stay here or begin to lift the knees and hips up into dolphin. Draw those front ribs in and as you inhale, fill up the back body and exhale, consolidate the front. Let the head hang between your arms. Now lifting up and down the balls of the feet, Feel yourself leaning back into the shoulder blades. Beautiful. Now lower the knees. Come back up to quadruped. Lift back up into downward dog. Walk your hands back towards your feet. So my knees are bent. My hips are hinged back. My hands are underneath my shoulders in front of my toes. My spine is long. Notice my belly is closer to my thighs, not moving away from them in a rounded position. And my head stays in line with my neck and spine. I symmetrically pull those hands back. And you might be on your fingertips and you might need blocks to keep those ribs contained long through the spine. So we're going to rise up, sit back, engage the glutes, press the hips a little bit forward. Bend the knees, hinge back at the hips, tap the fingers down, long spine. Imagine a strain between your chin and your pubic bone. Rise up, press the hips forward. Exhale, bend knees, hinge back at the hips. And that string stays taut. Inhale, coming back up. Press the hips.
hips forward, glutes are on, ribs are in. Exhale, bend the knees, hinge back at the hips. And then inhale, come all the way back up. Lower the arms by your side. And then walk to the front of the mat. Sun Sal 1. Inhale, reach the arms forward and up. Exhale, bend the knees, hinge back at the hips, plant the hands. Step the right foot back, lower the right knee and the top of the foot. Inhale, reach the arms up. Engage those right, the right glutes. Think of lifting the right thigh bone up as you pull the left foot back. The ribs stay nice and contained. The road is back. Inhale here. Exhale, plant the hands, step back into plank. Squeeze your butt, dial the hands out, pull them back, and lift the front of the throat. Lower the knees right where they are. Knees right underneath you here. Spine is at a diagonal. Glutes are on. Shoulders are over the wrists. As I dial the hands out, I bend the elbows back. Keep the fronts of the shoulders lifted as I lower in one piece. Uncurl the toes. Pull the hands back for cobra. Draw the belly in. Press your pubic bone down and engage the lower fibers of the glutes. Exhale. Either come back to your knees or up to plank and lift into downward dog. Without picking up your hands, Step your right foot forward, lower the left knee, top of the foot. Inhale, reach the arms up. Turn on that left glute. Lift the left thigh bone up and pull the right foot back. Deep breath in. Exhale, plant the hands. Step the left foot forward. Inhale, reach the arms forward and up. Exhale, bend the knees, hinge back at the hips, plant the hands. Step the left foot back, lower the knee, but not the toes. And inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, plant the hands, step back into plank. Lower the knees, lower all the way to the floor, keep fronts of the shoulders lifted. Inhale, pull your chest through for cobra, hands pull back. Exhale, lift up, downward facing dog, walk the feet in a little bit. Lift under the armpits and the front ribs, belly in, without picking up your hands. Step your left foot forward, lower the right knee, not the toes. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, plant the hands, step forward. Inhale, reach the arms forward and up. Exhale, bend the knees, hinge at the hips, plant the hands. Step your right foot back into a high lunge. Right hand plants on the floor underneath your right shoulder or on a block. Right hand is in line with your right foot. From the ribs, a little twist to the left. Left hand can stay on your outer left thigh or reach the left arm up for twisted crescent. Keep this right thigh lifted and that right glute turned on. Ribs and belly contained. Lean away from that left leg into the right shoulder blade as you pull the right hand back. Let the right ear hang. So notice my pelvis isn't going anywhere and I'm not hyperextending in the low back. Lower the left hand, step back into downward dog. Now lift up into dog. Step the right foot forward. Left hand under your shoulder. Open to the right for right twisted crescent. Left thigh lifts, left glute on. Lean away from the right thigh and pull that left hand back. Lower the right hand, downward facing dog, up. Step the left foot forward, left twisted crescent. One more time here. Bring your left hand to your waist. Bring the right knee forward underneath your right hip. And the left leg comes back into modified side plank. Now keeping the right shin parallel is harder. You can also kickstand it back for more support. Left hand can stay on your hip or up to the ceiling. Lift the left leg up. Turn the glutes on. Draw the front ribs and the belly in. Inhale here. 
Exhale, left knee to the belly. Look down at your right hand, extend that leg back. Exhale, knee to belly. Keep pushing through that hand, extend it back. Exhale, knee to belly. Inhale, send it back. Exhale, knee to belly, step the left foot forward, rise up to the right side of your mat. Bring your left foot next to your right foot, sit back into a squat. Step to the left, bring your right knee to the belly. Step, hinge back, squat. Notice my spine stays nice and long. Step, right knee to belly. Step right, hinge back, ribs are in, belly is in. Stand up in one piece, knee to belly. Step, squat back. Step, right knee, hip flexion. Step, hinge back, squat. Step, right knee up. One more time, step, hinge back. Step to the left, right knee up, hold it here. Turn on that left glute, pull the left thigh bone up. Right hand on top of your right thigh and press your hand and thigh into each other here. Maintain this container of the core. Side lunge, step to the right, bend your right knee, straighten the left leg. Keep your fingers in your hip creases. Side lunge to the left. Notice the length of my spine and my neck, looking straight down. And if you can maintain this length, your hands can come to your thighs. They can come to your shins. They can come to your ankles. They can come to the floor, but the minute the belly moves away from the mat, you're gonna be rounding in the back. So pull the hands back isometrically as if you're doing cobra without lifting the chin. Side to side here, hinging back. Turning to the front of the mat, stay low. Pivot the front foot, flip the back heel, plant the hands. Three-legged down dog, the left leg will lift up behind you. Now lift up under the armpits and draw the front ribs in. There's buoyancy in the supporting leg. Bend the left knee, hip circles. Knee in, out, and around. In, out, and around. In, out, and around. Other way, bring it up, out, and around forward there. Beautiful, keeping the pelvis nice and steady. The pelvis doesn't move. Good, lower the foot down, walk your hands back towards your feet like we did earlier and sit into that happy squat. From here, just let the head hang. So your knees are bent. The torso lays upon the thighs, the hips are hinging back. And for a second, just let the head hang. Now as you sit back, reach the arms forward, rise all the way up, maintaining that long spine. Rise up on the balls of your feet, hug the legs together, engage the glutes, draw the ribs in. Lower the heels, bend the knees, hinge back, tap the hands. Rise back up, keeping the spine long. Glutes, heels, lower, bend, hinge, tap. Rise back up, lift, and lower. Three more, bend, hinge, tap. Rise up, engage the glutes, hips press, heels lift, thighs hug in. Lower, bend, hinge, tap, rise up, lift up. Lower, bend, hinge, tap, rise up, lift, lower, stay up. Bring your hands to your waist. Unweight your right foot, bring the right knee to the belly and right hip flexion. Extend the right leg forward, right knee extension. Step the right foot down, left knee to belly, left hip extension, uh, flexion, extend, and step forward, bring the right foot next. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, bend the knees, hinge back at the hips, plant the hands. Step the left foot back, left hand under your shoulder on a block of the floor. Open to the right, right twisted crescent. Now lift the left thigh, squeeze the left glute, lean away from the right thigh into the left shoulder blade. Let the left ear fall. Inhale. Exhale, lower the hand, step back into down dog. 
Step the left foot forward, twisted crescent to the left. Watch and be mindful of that pelvis. Keep that thigh lifted and right glute turned on. Left hand down, downward facing dog. Step the right foot forward, right twisted crescent. Ribs in. Push through that left hand and pull it back. Take the left knee forward underneath your left hip, left hand under your shoulder, right foot to the back of the mat. Now again, notice, left wrist under shoulder, very important. Left knee under the left hip, very important. Now squeeze your glutes, hips press a little forward, and the front body draws in. Right hand can stay up or on your hip as you lift the right leg up. Deep breath in. Exhale, knee to belly. And extend. Knee to belly. And extend. Knee to belly. And extend. Step the right foot forward. Rise up to the left side of your mat. Right foot in. Squat. Step to the right. Left knee up. Step. Hinge back. Step right. Left knee up. Left. And hinge. Step right. Left knee up. Left. Hinge back. Step right. Left knee up. Left. Hinge back. Step right. Left knee up. Last time. Left. Hinge. Squat there. Step. Left knee up. Left hand on your left thigh. Press your hand and thigh into each other. Feel that right glute turn on. Ribs in. Right thigh lifting up. Side lunges to the left. Step left out. Bend. And to the right. Hinge those hips back. Really lengthen the spine forward. Looking down. Maintaining that, you can begin moving the hands down your leg. But only go as much as you can keep that spine long. Walk to the front of the mat, stay low, pivot the front foot, flip the back heel, plant the hands. Right leg will lift behind you into right three-legged down dog. Lift up underneath the shoulders, underneath the ribs here. Bend the right knee and circle that right hip in, out, and around. Maintaining the level of the pelvis and the other way. Press through those fingertips and inner edges of your hands. Really use the floor. Lower the right foot. Walk your hands back towards your feet. Sit back into those hips. There's a generous bend in the knees. Now let the head hang. Keep the belly engaged. The spine is lengthened over your thighs, not rounding away from it. And here we go, we're gonna sit back, reach the arms forward and up, rise up, gauge the glutes, press the hips forward, lift the heels, hug the thighs. Lower, bend, hinge, tap, rise up, lift the heels. Bend, hinge, tap, rise up, lift the heels. Lower, bend, hinge, tap, rise up, lift the heels. Lower, bend, hinge, tap, Rise up, lift the heels, lower last time, bend, hinge, tap, rise up, lift the heels, lower, bring your hands to your waist, on great weight, your left foot, bring the left knee to the belly, left hip flexion, extend, left knee extension, step the left foot forward, weight it, right knee in, keep all of this contained, extend, Step the right foot forward, followed by the left. Surya Namaskar, A, Sun Sal, A. Inhale, arms forward and up. Exhale, bend the knees, hinge back at the hips. Plant the hands underneath your shoulders. Step or jump back into plank, shoulder blades on the ribs. Lower the knees. Dial the hands, bend the elbows back, keep the fronts of the shoulders lifted. 
Inhale, pull the hands back, reach the chest through. Pubic bone down, belly in, glutes on. Exhale, lift up. Downward facing dog, walk the feet in a little bit. Deep breath in. Exhale, bend the knees, walk or jump to the front of the mat. And then inhale with a long spine, reach the arms forward and up. Exhale, bend the knees, hinge back at the hips, plant the hands underneath the shoulders. Step or jump back into plank. Lower the knees or not. Lower all the way to the floor. Keep the fronts of the shoulders lifted. Inhale, pull through for cobra. Don't overlift the chin. Exhale, lift up. Downward facing dog. Walk the feet in a little bit. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, bend the knees. Walk or jump to the front of the mat. Inhale, reach the arms forward and up. Exhale, bend the knees, hinge back at the hips, hands under your shoulders. Shoulders stay there as you step or jump back. Lower the knees or not, lower all the way to the floor. Keep the fronts of the shoulders lifted. Inhale, pull through for cobra, belly in. Exhale, lift up, downward facing dog. Deep breaths here. Extend your left leg up behind you, hip height. Step your left foot forward without picking up your hands. Rise up, crescent lunge. Bring your hands to your waist. Back knee, be slightly bent here. We wanna maintain that pelvis, tailbone rooting down, ribs in, it's long, nice, neutral spine here. Shift forward into tilted crescent. Right hand on top of your left thigh, left hand on your outer hip with your fingers into that left hip crease to remind your hip to hinge back. Shift forward into that left foot, come onto the back toes, maybe hover that right foot or lift it up into bent knee airplane here. Ribs in, looking straight down. Slowly lower that back foot, rising back up into crescent. Good. Shift forward, tilted crescent, long spine, watch the neck, shift, lift, hover the foot or lift, airplane, lower the foot back down, bent knee crescent, shift, notice spine stays right in line with the pelvis here, shift, lift, hold here. Nice deep breaths. Left hip is hinging back, right glute is turned on, ribs are in, looking down. Stepping the right foot to the back of the mat, open up into goddess and pulse here. Keeping your pelvis right underneath you. The legs can be a little narrower, the feet can be a little turned in. All of this stays nice and contained. Hold the pulse down. Right forearm is placed gently on the right thigh. Reach the left arm up. And exhale over for a side bend. So notice I'm not sinking here. I'm lifting up and out of that right leg. Lifting here into the right waist. Lifting up into the left upper ribs. Inhale up. Exhale lift up. Up and over, lateral side bend. Keep those sit bones squeezing towards each other. Inhale up, exhale, lateral side stretch. Inhale up, exhale, windmill down, hands down, right knee down underneath your right hip. Extend the left leg back behind you, reach the right arm forward, palm up. Bring the elbow to the knee. Without the spine rounding, extend it back. Lower the right hand, lower the left foot, left leg stay straight. Come back into plank. Left knee under your left hip, right leg lifts, left arm reaches forward, bird dog, elbow to knee. And out. Lower the hand, lower the foot, plank. Right knee underneath you, left leg up, right arm forward, elbow to knee 
and extend. Right hand down, left foot down, plank. Left knee underneath your left hip, right leg up, left arm forward, elbow to knee. Good. Hand down, foot down, plank. Two more. Right knee, left leg up, right arm forward, elbow to knee. Lower the hand, lower the foot, plank. Left knee underneath you, right leg up, left arm reaches, elbow to knee. Lower the hand, now bring the right knee next to the left knee. Come onto your forearms, lower the head, push the mat away, coming into dolphin. Rising up and down on the ball of the feet. Ribs in, belly in. Again, leading back into the shoulder blades. Now walk your feet back into forearm plank. Draw the elbows back, belly in, glutes on. Lower the knees, lower all the way down. Extend the arms along the sides and lift up for locust. Draw the belly in, press the pubic bone down, wrap the glutes down towards the hamstrings. Don't overlift your chin. Then exhale, plant the hands back under your shoulders, lift up, downward facing dog. Walk the feet in a little bit. Ribs in, belly in. Extend the right leg up behind you. Step that right foot forward, rise up, crescent lunge. Right underneath you, left hand on top of the right thigh as you shift forward into tilted crescent. Keep shifting into airplane. Extend spine, lengthen, turn on that left glute. Lower the left foot, come back into crescent. Shift forward, left hand to right thigh. Shift more, hover the back leg or lift up. Turn the left glute on. Keep the pelvis level. Step back. Crescent lunge. And again, shift forward. Using that left hand as a buttress there for support. Long spine, don't lift the neck. You lift the neck, it's gonna affect the spine. Hold here. Left glute, activate it. Ribs, belly, drawing in. Step the left foot to the back of the mat, open to the left for goddess pulses. Keeping the pelvis right underneath you, ribs in, hold the pulse down, left forearm gently places on the left thigh, reach the right arm up and over, really lifting up and out of the pelvis, inhale up, exhale up and over to the right. Inhale up, exhale up and over to the left. Inhale up, exhale windmill down, lower the left knee, extend the right leg back behind you, reach the left arm forward, bird dog, thumb up. Elbow to knee, extend it back, lower the hand, lower the foot, keep the leg straight, step back into plank. Right knee under the right hip. Lift the left leg, right arm forward, elbow to knee. Lower the foot and hand, step back into plank, left knee underneath you, right leg up, left arm up, elbow to knee, and extend, left hand down, right foot down, plank, right knee forward, left leg up, right arm out, elbow to knee, bring it out. Right hand down, left foot down, plank, two more. Left knee in, right leg up, left arm forward, elbow to knee, keep your spine long. Left hand down, right foot down, plank, right knee down, left leg up, right arm out, elbow to knee. Lower the right hand, bring the left knee underneath you, quadruped, forearms down, Lift into dolphin. Your hands can be clasped. Just make sure your elbows are right underneath your shoulders and begin lifting up and down on the balls of the feet. Heels lifting up and down. 
Really contain the ribs and siphon that belly. Walk your feet back into forearm plank. Hug the elbows towards the feet, squeeze your bum. Draw the belly in, look straight down. Lower the knees, lower all the way to the floor. Straighten the arms, inhale, lift up for locust. Rock back into that pubic bone. Then exhale, lower, hands under your shoulders. Lift up, downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Exhale, bend the knees. Walk or jump to the front of your mat. Inhale, reach up. Exhale there. Inhale, Utkatasana, Sun Sal B. Exhale, plant the hands under your shoulders. Step back into plank. Lower the knees or not. Lower all the way or halfway. Inhale, pull through for up dog or cobra. Exhale, lift up, downward facing dog. Slide the right foot in a little bit. Lift the left leg up behind you. Step that left foot forward. Lower the back heel. Rise up. Warrior one. Make sure your legs are on two different planes. That right foot can be turned in as much as needed. Left outer hip pulling back and lengthen through the side of your body. Inhale here. Exhale, plant the hands. Step back into plank. Lower the knees, lower all the way or halfway. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Slide the left foot in a little bit, lift the right leg behind you. Step that right foot forward, lower the back heel, rise up, warrior one. Feet on two different lines. Could be a much narrower stance than you're used to. Pelvis right underneath you. Another deep breath in. Exhale, plant the hands. Step back, plank. Lower the knees or not, or lower halfway. Flipping one foot at a time for up dog or cobra. Exhale, lifting up, downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Then exhale, bend the knees. Walk or jump to the front of the mat. And inhale, reach the arms forward and up. And lower the arms. Woo! And now we're going to put that whole sequence together in the stream. So enjoy. Here we go. Inhale, reach the arms forward and up. Exhale, bend the knees, hinge at the hips, plant the hands, step the right foot back, right hand under your shoulder in line with your right foot, open to the left, twisted crescent, lean into that right shoulder blade and pull the right hand back. Instead of stepping back into downward dog, lower the left hand, step the right foot forward, rise up, lift the heels, triple extension. Lower the heels, bend the knees, hinge at the hips, plant the hands, Step the left foot back, left hand under your shoulder, right twisted crescent. Lower the right hand, step the left foot forward, rise up. Lift the heels. Lower the heels, bend the knees, hinge back. Right foot steps back, right hand under your shoulder, left twisted crescent. Hold here. Make sure that right thigh is lifted, right glute on, ribs and belly back. Lower the right knee underneath your right hip and open the left leg to the back for modified side plank. Reach the left arm over your ear. Keep looking down at your right hand for balance. Engage your glutes. Press your hips a little forward as you draw the front body in. Take a deep breath in and exhale, elbow to knee. Keep your spine long. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen. Two more. Exhale, in. Inhale, out. Exhale, in. Inhale, out. Now, option to lower the left foot or bend the left knee. Grab the back, the top of the left foot with your left hand and bring the heel towards your butt. Now squeeze your butt, press your hips a little forward, draw the front body in. 
Now stay here, or step the left foot down behind you. Take the right foot even with the left foot. Push through the right hand. Align shoulder over wrist here, and lift up into a one-armed table. Everyone, step that left foot forward. Rise up to the right side of your mat. This is different. Hinge back, three side lunges. Right, left, right. Shift to the left, lift the right knee to the belly. And right, left, right side lunge, shift and lift. Woo, right, left, right, shift and lift. Turn on that left glute. Right, left, right, shift and lift. Two more, right, left, right, shift and lift. Right, left, right, shift and lift and hold it. Right hand on top of your right thigh and press your hand and thigh into each other. Feel the turn on that left glute, left thigh lifting. Now step to the right, step to the left, squat. You can keep your hands in your hip creases on top of your thighs. Keep those ribs contained, hands to prayer. However you want to sit here. Woo! Sitting back, long spine, long neck. Deep breaths in. Now press through the feet, stand up. Step to the front of the mat, lower the hands, step back. Downward facing dog. Walk your hands back towards your feet. This time you're going to rise up, bring the right knee to the belly, lower the foot, bend, hinge, tap, rise up, left knee to the belly, lower, bend, hinge, tap, shift to the left, right knee to the belly, lower, bend, hinge, tap, rise up, left knee to the belly, two more, bend, hinge, tap, rise up, right knee to the belly, Lower, bend, hinge, tap, left knee to the belly. One more, bend, hinge, tap, bring the right knee up and hold it here. You can bring your hands to your waist. Extend the right leg forward. Step it forward, hinge it forward. Airplane, lift or hover that left foot. Woo! Turn on that left glute, draw that right outer hip back. Bring the left knee to the belly as you rise up. Really turn on that right glute. Woo! Extend the left leg straight. Step the left foot forward. Hinge forward. Get the left hip to go back. Right hand can be on your left thigh. Airplane. Lower the right foot to the back of the mat. Rise up, warrior two. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, reverse. Reach up and over. Let the right ear fall to the right shoulder. Inhale, up. Exhale, up and over. Warrior variation. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, reverse. Inhale, up. Exhale, windmill down. Lower the right knee under the right hip and extend the left leg back. Reach the right arm forward. Elbow to knee, and extend. Lower the hand, lower the foot, keep the leg straight. Plank. Bring the left knee underneath you, extend the right leg up, reach the left arm out, elbow to knee, reach it out. Lower the right foot, and lower the hand, plank. Right knee underneath you, left leg up, right arm out, elbow to knee. Nice long spine, lower the hand and foot, Plank, left knee underneath you, right leg up, left arm out, elbow to knee. Good, lower the hand, lower the foot, plank, right knee, left leg lifts, right arm out, elbow to knee. Hand and foot down, plank, left knee, right leg up, left arm out, elbow to knee. Beautiful. Lower the hand, now lower the knee, forearms down, coming into 
Dolphin. Rising up and down. Here. Whew. Walking back into forearm plank. Shoulders over the elbows. Squeeze your bum. Draw the belly in. Pull the elbows back isometrically. Lower the knees. Lower all the way down. Now you can do cobra. You could do locust. Or you can do bow. Watch the next. Lower down. Hands under your shoulders. Push up. Downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Exhale, bend the knees, walk or jump to the front of the mat. And inhale, reach the arms forward and up. One more side. Exhale, bend the knees, hinge back at the hips, plant the hands. Step the left foot back, left hand under your shoulder in line with your left foot. Open to the right for twisted crescent. Left glute on. Pull the left hand back as you lean into that left shoulder blade. Lower the right hand, step the left foot forward, rise up. Come on the balls of the feet. Lower the heels, bend, hinge, plant the hands, step the right foot back, hand under your shoulder, open to the left, left twisted crescent. Left hand lower, step the right foot forward, rise up, lift the heels. Lower the heels, bend, hinge, plant the hands, step the left foot back, left hand under your left shoulder, open to the right, right twisted crescent. Bring the left knee to the floor underneath your left hip and open the right leg to the right for modified side plank. Now turn the left glutes on, draw the front body in. Reach the right arm over your ear. Look down at that left hand. Here we go, elbow to knee. One, keep your spine nice and long. And two. And three. Three more. In, in, in. Good, now you can put that right foot down and hold here into the side stretch. Or bend the right knee, grab the top of the right foot, squeeze your butt, press your hips a little forward and draw the front body in for this quad stretch. Stay here or step the right foot to the back, step the left foot next to the right, push through that left hand, Scapula supports, maybe reach the right arm over for one arm table. Everyone step that right foot forward, rise up to the left side of your mat. Three side lunges, side lunge left, side lunge right, side lunge left. Shift to the right, lift the left knee up. And side lunge left, side lunge right, side lunge left. Shift, left knee up. Woo, really hold on. Side lunge left, right, left, shift and lift. Side lunge left, right, left, shift and lift. Two more. Left, right, left, lift. Left, right, left, lift and hold it. Left hand on top of your left thigh and press your hand and thigh into each other. Step to the left, step to the right, squat. Hinge those hips back, ribs in, hands can be on your thighs in prayer. But watch, is your pelvis tilting? Draw the belly in, draw the ribs in. You have this nice long spine here. Steady your breath. Rise up, step to the front, lower the hands, downward facing dog. Walk your hands back towards your feet. Rise up, left knee to belly. Lower, bend, hinge, tap, rise up, right knee to belly, right hip flexion. Lower, bend, hinge, tap, left knee to belly. Lower, bend, hinge, tap, right knee up. Lower, bend, hinge, tap, left knee up. Lower, bend, hinge, tap, right knee up. One more time, 
bend, hinge, tap. Left knee up, hold it here. You bring your hands to your waist. Extend the left leg straight. Step it forward, shift into that leg, bend the knee, hinge the hip back. Lift the right leg up, bend the airplane. Right hand on your left thigh, right glute on. Draw the front body in. Rise up, bring the right knee to the belly. Extend the right foot forward, step forward, airplane. Right hip hinging back, left glute on, ribs in. Step the left foot to the back of the mat, warrior two. Pelvis right underneath you. Exhale, reverse, true side bend here. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, warrior variation. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, reverse. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, windmill to the floor. Lower the back, the left knee. Extend the right leg back. Reach the left arm forward. Elbow to knee. And extend. Lower the hand. Lower the foot. Plank. Right knee underneath you. Lift the left leg. Right arm out. Elbow to knee. Keep your spine nice and steady. Hand, foot down. Plank. Left knee underneath the hip. Right leg extends. Left arm forward. Elbow to knee. Lower the hand, lower the foot, plank. Right knee underneath you. Extend the left leg, right arm forward. Elbow to knee. Watch your neck. Lower the foot and hand, plank. Two more times. Left knee. Extend the right leg. Keep that front body drawing in. Keep pushing through that right hand here. Lower the hand, foot, plank. Right knee underneath you. Last one. Extend. Elbow to knee, lower the hand, lower the knee. Come onto your forearms and lift up into dolphin. Forearms are either hands or clasped or parallel to each other. And then lifting up and down on the ball of the foot. Draw that front body in, leaning into the scapula. Walk your feet back for plank. Turn on the glutes, pull the hands back, look straight down. Lower the knees, lower down. So you can come into cobra, you can come into locust, or bend the knees, and lift into bow. Belly in, pubic bone down, and release. Hands under your shoulders, lift up, downward facing dog. Hmm. Nice deep breath. And then lower your knees and do a couple cat cows here. On your cow, don't make it so big. Keep the belly engaged and have it more like a feeling of cobra pulling through. So you don't want to dump the belly down towards the floor and overextend the neck. Then come back to neutral. Sit back onto your heels and come to lie on your back. Bring the knees into the belly. Just gently so the sacrum stays on the ground. And then little circles here. One way and then the other. All right, lift the legs up towards the ceiling. Open the legs a little wide. Now keep the sacrum down, keep the ribs drawing in and down, the belly cinching, and then bend the knees. Keeping the sacrum down, take your hands to your shins, the inside here, maybe your toe. But for this happy baby, we're not thinking about bringing our, our uh, knees all the way to the floor and then the the sacrum lifts up. We want the sacrum to stay firm on the ground to keep that neutral spine. So this is like a modified happy baby, not worrying about the knees to the floor, but worrying about mindful of the neutral spine and neck, making sure that the, the chin isn't lifting either. So really get that chin back neutral. 
Ribs in, belly in, sacrum pressing down. Now bringing your hands to the outside of your, your knees, your thighs, and you can begin to straighten them and then open out. But don't go to your fullest range. So don't let it fall and sink into that. So you have this strength here instead of sinking into the tissue, into the joint. Sacrum down, core contained, and then bringing that up, bend the knees, and then maybe circles again, out and around, Woo, and then putting the feet down, and extending one leg and then the other, bringing the arms down to a low diagonal. So bring the arms to where your shoulders can just totally relax where they're not being held anywhere. Take a deep breath in here. Open the mouth side out. <sighs> Shavasana. You can choose to stay longer here in Shavasana and turn off the video. And then when you're done, meeting us back up. And take the legs closer together. Keep the legs straight. Maybe reach the arms up overhead to the floor behind you. As you inhale deeply through the nose, lengthen your tailbone towards your heels and reach the ribs up towards your armpits, and then exhale fully, huh. oh yeah, one more time, inhale, lengthen, and exhale, bending one knee and then the other, coming up to a comfortable seat, So when we can move optimally, it creates a different world for us, mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually. When we begin to move in that optimal way, it feels good. And so, so, so important to be able to move through life with this ease and joy. And when we're feeling good in our bodies, everyone and all beings around us benefit. So mindfulness of posture and movement matters for long-term health and well-being. I love you all. Thank you so much for practicing with me. Namaste, my dear friends.